Animate adventures, but I can only use And also farm units, I guess, because these new One Punch Man units are very, very expensive. So let's go ahead and put together a team. Of course, we're going to be bringing Metal Knight, who is amazing. Then we're going to go ahead and also bring Genos, which I do have the shoddy of, which is this hilarious looking. I love the outfit. Now, who else do we want to bring? I'm guessing out of all three of the other One Punch Man units, I don't have... Boros just because I just can't get the unit to save my life so I can't bring him I'm guessing let's bring Tatsumaki because she's an air hitting unit and we can always use more air damage now it's between Sonic and Bang hmm I'm guessing just because Bang's damage is kind of disappointing let's bring Sonic why not and then on top of that let's go ahead and bring money units I would bring the brand new nami but it actually deals damage and i feel like that'd be cheating on the challenge because she's not from one punch man obviously and we're only using one punch man units plus money units and i don't want one that deals damage so let's go ahead and bring bulma and speedwagon which don't deal any damage so it should be fine but this should be good i was honestly waiting for saitama to get added but saitama was not the tournament reward so I'll go ahead and deal with all these units instead and of course we're doing it on the new map also Okay, we're going to start off by farming, but I think the best start we could do definitely is this going to be Metal Knights right here. Which should be able to hit all the way over to spawn. Might even overshoot a tiny bit. But my lord, that star damage on the unit is so high that this unit... That we should have a pretty easy time on the first couple rounds in order to get our money up. Also, Metal Knights drones are literally so strong. This is a big boost in damage, especially in the later wave. That it gets so good. The two Metal Knights are literally soloing all the waves, and you only have Reaper on them, which is essentially just Superior 3, to be honest. Almost there. Come on, a little more money. There we go. Okay. Bulma is now done. All the money's done. So now we can go ahead and focus on damage. And I'm guessing just for the, the complete BM against the enemies, let's spam the Metal Knights. Because this literally does so much damage. This is one of the highest damage units you can get in the game. That is not a unique. It is so good. Just spam the upgrades on that. Look, 72,000 damage every six seconds. That is amazing. On top of the fact that it has the drones that do a ton of damage too. Let's see. How fast does the first boss die? Okay, shield is almost gone. It's going to be gone after this attack. There we go. And then just big chunks out of the health. That is so good. Get this unit. It's so strong. I'm just going to focus on these two first. And we'll go ahead and start doing other units like Genos and all that. Because Genos is also insanely strong. And his attack is so cool. Almost maxed out. One more upgrade. And look at that. 155,000 damage. This almost feels wrong being this strong. But to be fair, it kind of makes sense of that high damage because there's only two of them. If it was any lower, this unit would not be worth using whatsoever. But that is a maxed out Metal Knight. 25,000 DPS and also the maxed out drones have 19,000 DPS. Look at that. That is amazing. Literally just maxed out this unit right away. It is so worth it. It's soloing this map. It's crazy. I'm almost tempted just to see how long the Metal Knight can last on his own. And there we go. Metal Knights are now done on wave 18. That was incredibly fast. And that is a lot of damage. This unit is actually so good, especially with the drones too. It is so much DPS. But now that we have those placed down, I'm guessing let's go ahead. We'll do one of each unit next. Let's go ahead and do a Genos first. Just work our way down the line of all the units we have. Okay, here's the cool attack. Look at it. Oh, that is such a good attack. Damage isn't bad either. I think this is the last upgrade. There might be one more, but the damage on this unit is also incredibly high at max. But here's the wave 20 boss now. This one should die incredibly fast to two Metal Knights and a Genos. Look at that. Already lost its shield, and now the main health is just going to get melted. And there we go. Okay, that's the maxed out Genos, and then Carnage is dead. There we go. Literally 12,000 DPS on this unit, and then like 16,000 on bosses because of Reaper. But that is amazing. Okay, let's go ahead and do our next unit. I'm guessing we'll do this one next. Because this one will be a bit helpful considering what we're doing. 
because what this unit does is has a pushback on it so any enemies that it hits but doesn't kill it will push back to give us way more time to deal damage and there we go okay this attack should push back enemies now look at that oh that is perfect i've never used pushback units before like i hardly ever use them because i only recently got all might and i still don't have them evolved but i think that's the last upgrade there we go maxed out tatsumaki 12,000 dps that is amazing the damage on these the damage on these units aren't that bad the only bad one is bang sadly but now that we have this unit placed down i'm definitely gonna place the other ones a bit farther back because that is a bit of wasted rage i forgot this one had actually a lot of rage i'm guessing we'll set the other ones right here there we go that should be good let's also go ahead and place down the genesis right here too that is perfect okay our last thing we can do is sonic who has a decent amount of damage but it's mainly a crit unit so let's go ahead and just place it right here and let's um see what the range is because i honestly don't remember how much range this unit has and it's not a lot okay that's not a lot of range actually i'll pull i'll pull the other ones a little closer but not too bad damage on him he has like just under 9,000 damage but if he crits it's like 13 14,000 so it's very good on the crits I'm definitely going to place the other four a lot closer so it actually deals damage early. That should be good. I'm guessing let's go ahead and upgrade all the Tatsumakis because the Tatsumaki with the knockback is really worth it. And here is the big amount of rage and that pushback is so nice. They barely move forward to get pushed back to spawn immediately. It's perfect. And there we go. Okay, a second max to Tatsumaki. We won't be able to max a third by the next wave, but we'll get it pretty close for sure. Okay, here is the next boss, and health is going down incredibly fast. And there we go, boss is dead. That took no time at all, and we're almost done with the third Tatsumaki now. And there we go. Okay, so that's all of those units. Now we have all three of the pushback units working. And I think it's also all of our hair damage, so that should be working perfectly now. I'm guessing to be safe, let's go ahead and do the Genosis next and then the Sonics, because the Genos does way more damage, especially since it's a bleed unit. And we're probably going to need the damage for the later rounds for sure. Just to be safe, I don't want to lose before wave 50. That would be kind of bad. Okay, here's the second, the third, and the fourth. And just look at all the beams. Most of the attacks are pretty calm, and then there's this Genos, just like a huge, just laser beam. It is so dramatic. But almost way 40, and the last scene we have to upgrade is the Sonics. Let me make sure. Uh, yeah, nothing else to place down. So the last unit is the four Sonics, and my lord, Genos' attack is bright. And we managed to get a second one done before the boss spawn. So let's see how hard is the wave 40 boss going to be. We should have a pretty good time doing it considering we got all the Genesis, Metal Knights, and Tatsumaki's done. This boss should have a pretty bad time. Okay, the Plant Alien Commander. This one isn't too bad. I think this one's the one that spawns in Tiny Minions. I honestly forget which one does which, but not doing too bad so far. It has made it pretty far though without dying. And there we go. Okay, that was not the one that split apart. Okay, we should still be pretty good then. Okay, there we go. That's the third Sonic. And then this right here is the fourth with one more remaining. And we have one more upgrade left on that one. And there we go. Done on wave 45 with all of our units. So I'm guessing let's go ahead and wait for the wave 50 boss. And let's see if we can defeat it with our team. Okay, wave 50. This is the real challenge. How well will all units do? Okay, here he is, and he already lost like a bunch of health like right away. Just half the health left. I know this one's the one that splits, but it shouldn't be that big of a problem. Yeah, that boss died incredibly fast, and here's the minions, which are now all dead. That took no time. 
Okay, so I'm guessing now the real question is, is how much longer can we last now? I'm guessing I'm going to sit here and see how long it takes. Oh, um, <laughs> some of the aliens got by. Well, I'm not even going to bother trying to kill them. I'm just going to see how many waves you can last, to be honest. And there we go. Wave 58. Not too bad. Only took 43 minutes, too. But that was a pretty good round. My only question I have for this update still is, where is Saitama? We have a capybara, but we don't have Saitama. Where is Saitama at? I need, I need to know.